Welcome to the wood shop stop friends. Today I show you how I make a console table from a old table leaf. Here I start with the planer to remove the lamination that was on the table leaf. And I do both sides. This side I didn't worry about getting too close to the original wood, but this is going to be the top side here, so I made sure I went down to the wood grain. Next I'll use some maple plywood to create my skirts. And then we glue up some 2x4s in pine to uh, create the legs. And here I'm trimming these to uh, size and uh, I'll end up splitting this in half. And there's the two halves. I'll do that again and create uh, my four legs. Here's the other part to that. I'm, I just ran that through the planer so I'd get the equal thickness on that. Now I'll split it down the middle after I square up this edge here. Then I run all the pieces through the planer so that they're all the same thickness. Then I get my final length on these at the miter saw. I trim off uh, one end and then I cut them to size. Now here I'm cutting the pieces to the final size. Now we're over at the bench and we're uh, drilling pocket holes in the skirting for the legs to attach to. Here I'm cutting up some banding. I'm going to edge band the bottom of the uh, plywood skirting so that it has a more finished look to it. And I need just under three quarter width on this, this banding. Just using plywood or uh, pine for the edge banding, as you can see here. And I'll glue and uh, pin nail this to the plywood. I added tape to it, but I didn't really need the tape, so I didn't didn't tape the second piece or the end pieces. The pin nail should be enough to hold this until the glue dries. It should be a nice tight fit. Now we're here on the cross cut sled on the table saw and I'm cutting the edge banding for the uh, end pieces.
Now I'm doing the bottom shelf. This piece here will be used for the bottom shelf. And I'm just uh, trimming up the edges so I have a nice clean edge. Most of this uh, pine is pallet wood and uh, there's quite a few imperfections so I try to clean everything up. Here I'm cutting the notches in the leg for the uh, bottom shelf. Actually dados. I'm doing that on the uh, cross cut sled here. Now here's the top. Now the uh, the leaf has these pins or dowels in order to install it into the table. I trim those off, and now I want to plug plug the holes where those dowels were because they were plastic dowels, and I don't want plastic showing uh, on this edge. So I'm uh, just going to plug these up with uh, some oak dowel trim it off and I'll clean it up on the uh, jointer here I am on the jointer doing that cleanup on that edge where I put the dowels in and I'll show you how that went there we go that looks a lot better than having the little plastic uh, pins in there. Now we'll do some quick sanding on the top. And that's just about ready for finish. Here I'm putting together the, uh, the legs and skirting assembly. I'm doing the uh, pocket holes and uh, I like to clamp the pieces together to hold them while I drive the screws in. You can see I have the uh, bottom shelf in place as well. Here's the other side. I do these end pieces because it's so narrow and short that uh, if I assembled these to the longer pieces it would be difficult to get or I wouldn't be able to get the uh, drill driver in there to drive those screws in. Here I'm putting uh, bevels on the bottoms of the uh, legs with the sander and I'll do some light sanding here. Just a little clean up on those dados with the uh, chisel. The uh, kerf on that saw left a little jagged edge so I'm smoothing that out. Now I'll assemble the whole thing. As you can see I put the bottom shelf in and now I'm ready to, to put the side skirts on. Or the front and back, whichever you want to call it. Now I placed a uh, scrap piece of plywood. It's about a quarter inch underneath the uh, skirt there before I uh, drive the screws and that'll give me the, the depth of the reveal that I want on that face. Same for the other side.
Now I'll just flip this over and add the other. There's the uh, base with the uh, skirts added and the shelf added. Here I'm adding the slots with the biscuit joiner for the uh, tabletop assembly. Now here I'm uh, cutting out some uh, hold downs for the tabletop out of, uh, I believe it's oak. It's a hardwood. Best to use a hardwood for these. And then I drilled holes in the uh, fatter part with the uh, drill press. And here we got a uh, stain going on the top. I went with a weathered gray stain for this. I like that uh, with pine. Kind of gives it a uh, country rustic kind of look and feel. And I am doing both sides. I just apply the stain and uh, in about uh, five or ten minutes wipe it off. Wipe the excess off. Same for the base. Now I'm adding the uh, water base polyacrylic to the top here. I think I added uh, five or six coats on this top with the polyacrylic. Now here I cut some pieces uh, to uh, laminate the uh, face and back and sides of the console table. And right now I am trimming just a little light break on the edge. Follow that up with uh, some light sanding. And now we're staining the uh, laminate pieces. I'll attach these with uh, some uh, acrylic resin, epoxy, and uh, that should be fine. Here I'm mixing up the A, B, epoxy and uh, actually I believe I used a little too much epoxy uh, next time I'll know to kind of back off a little bit because uh, you get the uh, squeeze out uh, really going on this when you've got too much you can tell when you got too much and, uh, I probably could have brushed it on or rolled it on um, But, I mean, it works out real good. I taped this uh, instead of clamping it so I wouldn't uh, have any clamp marks on, the, uh, on that face. And that worked pretty good. It has to dry overnight. And uh, I checked it periodically. Uh, after I had it all glued up and assembled and uh, I found myself wiping squeeze out uh, down a couple times probably about three or four times I checked it out and uh, had squeeze out it just uh, kept coming so um, just beware if you do this technique 
but uh, after it was dry hey, everything looked really nice as you can see here the top looks good I really like that grain pattern uh, even though the boards don't match up and it's not a book match or a solid piece I still like that way that grain looks um, even the, sh the lower shelf has a nice grain pattern to it and really stands out nice I used uh, a couple coats of polycrylic on the entire thing and uh, here we are we've got it staged and uh, give you an idea how it would look thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed please consider doing so hit the like button and share the video as well hit the bell notification for future videos thanks again